Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard, and today we have yet another epic universe update. Thank you to the wonderful Bio Reconstruct. Today's gonna be kind of a shorter update because it's a short update from Bio Reconstruct. So, uh, and it's only been a week, so I guess there's been some change, but not too too much change. So we're gonna mostly focus on Starfall Racers and um, check out the hub areas, but we'll take a peek into some of the other lands as well. Taking a look at the overview of the entire park and see just how big the area is and just how much developed it is. You can also see the bus bays, you know, for those dedicated bus lanes that will take you between the other two Universal Resort parks. You can see you'll be exiting the bus in that concrete area right over to the left there, and then you'll be walking right into the park, which will be quite nice. And then there's the front park infrastructure with uh, some footings for the arches, and then you're right into the hub. And then just to the right will be um, the How to Train a Dragon Land. And let's go get into that right now. How to Train a Dragon, Isle of Berk has taken some rapid, rapid progress over the past couple of weeks, including the painting of the statues. The painting that we saw in the last update has been nearly complete now as um, it has been painted all, almost all the way to the bottom. I feel like the, the whole thing won't be painted because the you know there's gonna be water so the water line will probably be up to where the blue paint stops but it looks fantastic the other statue has not been painted yet but it is currently in the process of getting painted the scaffolding should be coming down from the completed structure pretty soon taking a look at the second statue yeah, i can see all that is bending rapidly under scaffolding and should be i don't know if it's gonna be blue like the this one or a different color because the dragons were all types of colors in the movie so it'd be pretty cool if there's a two different colors going on over there as you'll be walking along and that'll be your wonderful entrance statement into the Hatter Chain or Hatter Isle of Burke area. Taking a quick look at the Great Hall restaurant you can see the roof is still on and there's still there's it's rumored it's going to be some rock work that'll be engraved in some rock work to make it look like it's jutting out of the mountain just like it is in the movie but none of that has started up, up here yet and we can choose a lot of the goings on of the land, the roller coaster, um, footings for some flat rides, right? The, the that swinging plane flat ride. I believe it's gonna call I believe it's gonna be called the wing gliders. And yeah, this will be the largest land, about what like twenty acres or so, close to twenty acres. And it's gonna be incredible. But what's also incredible is the progress on the water ride in the hub. So let's go and take a look at that. Looking at the hub water ride. I'm gonna call it the water carousel for for now. You can see the supports and the footer or the supports for the dome. That glass dome structure are rapidly going in. There's about five of them in now. You can even see some parts connecting them together, um, which would be really nice. And it looks gorgeous in the concept art. And looking at the overview of this whole area, you can see Super, Super Nintendo World behind there, looking great. The main fountain for the um, fountain show and potentially fireworks viewing area right above it and this area is still looking fantastic though I mean this this water ride the views from this water ride which you can see the supports or the dome will have openings for pe guests to see out into the water and the park below or behind you that whole area which is a gorgeous just gorgeous you have a beautiful beautiful view of the water and the restaurants and the fireworks and the hotel um, which is really a gorgeous spot for uh, a water ride, a family water ride um, that, you know, anyone can get on, which is incredible. Taking a real quick, quick peek at Super Nintendo World just uh, to see the overall progress here. A nice little overview of the land. The Mushroom Kingdom is doing pretty well. It's getting uh, rapidly getting enclosed in. Soon we won't be able to see too much, just like with Mario Kart, can't really see anything over there because it's all boxed in and ready to roll. But you already know how Mario Kart's can look. You can see the POVs here on my channel, up here, uh, the one here in Hollywood. But Mushroom Kingdom's looking fantastic. Yoshi's just about wrapped up uh, with the, just the working on the show scene, but the outro parts just need the installation of some actual track, and they'll be good to go. Moving on to the more intense coaster of the hub and one that you'll get a good fireworks view from but not everyone can ride it because it's so intense. The Starfall Racers Coaster and look at this you can see second launches have been added. Station roofing has been added or steel for station roofing has been added as well. More track has been added and 
it's just like tons tons of work going on here finally after it seemed like work had um lightened up a bit for a few weeks there now it's really bouncing back which is good you can see potentially what some sort of maintenance bay or maybe queue building right over there and that concrete building below still the lots of track and lots of the sport should be i think all complete but the track a lot of track left to go there's a lot of track left in the staging area as well we're still waiting for that signature element the uh constellation twist or i forgot the actual name but there's a special name for it, just like the mosasaurus roll um there's a special name for this new element the space theme name will be the tallest point of the ride coming right after that second launch and we'll be waiting for the installation of that because that would be quite uh, a sight to see just for photos alone but imagine getting all that and riding it absolutely incredible and let's take a look at our last land for today the wizarding world of harry potter fantastic beasts area moving over to the wizarding world of paris you can see the facade work for the parisian themed buildings uh, on this particular side is all just about complete um at least with the initial molding so we're gonna add of course the theming on there and the roof tiles but uh, you can definitely see the shape of the building starting to go in a nice little staircase of scaffolding going up there as well the arch has been more defined and more complete but it doesn't look like an official arch yet it's just an arch of steel but you can tell the shape the height and again some more definition is starting to arise on the entrance arch this is where you're coming to this arch right after you get through the portal to this particular area and here's an overview of the wizarding world area again it's very dense dense walkways and will be filled with lots of shops and retail and again two attractions or one attraction and one theater show should be a really cool city-like area um and definitely differenti differenti differentiate itself from the other two wizarding world lands and the other two parks that's it for this quick, quick Epic Universe update. Um, subscribe to the channel for more updates on this project, as well as pro projects out here in Universal Hollywood, such as The Fast and Furious Coaster. I'll be at Disneyland in 10 days for the Slash Mountain Final Closing Day and should do a construction update from there. Subscribe for more theme park updates. Like if you liked this video, press that thumbs up. Sub and uh, share it to all your family and friends. As always, have a very epic day.